right here today with this Colt M2012, which is a real nice bolt action rifle. It's a very accurate bolt action rifle. It's built for Colt by Cooper Firearms in Montana, and they did everything just right. Now, before we get into the, the, the details of this, you know, if you're just wanting something to go pop a deer with, there's some good $400 rifles out there to do that. This rifle MSRP for, I think, $27.95 as the date of this review, which is a lot of money for a rifle. But what you're buying with this rifle is accuracy. And, you know, when I got this rifle in, I thought, that's a great-looking rifle, but if it don't shoot better than a $400 rifle, it's not worth having. Well, I can tell you now, it shoots better than a $400 rifle. It shoots better than some custom rifles that cost twice as much as this does. Like I said, the MSRP right now is $27.95. You can probably buy it for a little less than that. Uh, distributors do have them in stock right now. I checked with some. Let's go over some of the details on this rifle. It's got a heavy, fluted, 22-inch barrel. Uh, it's got a nice matte black finish to it. The receiver on this, this cooper receiver, is, uh, is heavy. You can tell by the thickness of the walls on it, which gives you a real stiff uh, receiver on here so it's not going to flex like some lightweight ones do. It also has a fully bridged uh, Picatinny rail on it. It's about six and an eighth inches long to mount your optics. It bridges the ejection port. That uh, stiffens it up a little bit more. They've got a, a spiral fluted bolt on here and the bolt has three locking lugs which gives you about a 60 degree lift. Let me show you this right here. So when you come up working this thing, even if you've got gloves on, your knuckles are not gonna be scraping your scope. You don't have to worry about having an oversized ocular lens on your scope because it's not going to get in the way of this low bolt lift. The trigger they used on it, and we got some pictures of it also we'll have in there, is a great trigger. They went with a Timney trigger unit on it, which is an excellent choice. It's adjustable. It came, uh, it was a little over three and a half pounds. I adjusted it down to two and a quarter pounds, which is just right for me. With a nice wide curved trigger blade on it, it feels even lighter than that two and a quarter pound. The release is perfectly crisp. It's just exactly the trigger you want on a rifle this type, which uh, for a rifle this type is good for long range target shooting, uh, anything you want to do accuracy wise, <clears throat> shooting uh, and uh, just target practice at steel at long range or paper targets. Also, is uh, but it's light enough and handy enough to be a good predator rifle. It weighs eight and three quarter pounds without optics on it, uh, which uh, makes it portable enough that you can take it out carry it with you in the field. It's not cumbersome or anything. It's got a nice laminated stock on it. It's got a little bit of a palm swell for right-handed shooter. I shoot left-handed. Don't bother me at all. It works perfectly well left-handed also. The barrel is free-floated into this stock and it's got a nice bedding system on it. Holds it in there. You got two sling studs on the front if you want to mount a bipod. Still have your sling stud uh, available on there. It's got a nice Packmeyer decelerator recoil pad on the back which is soft which uh uh, helps absorb some of the recoil, but this muzzle brake on the front here, this Cooper muzzle brake, just takes all the recoil out of this rifle. I mean, even shooting it all day long, don't bother your shoulder a bit. This is chambered in 308 Winchester. It's also available just like this in 260, but <clears throat> no recoil. The muzzle brake is very effective, works perfectly well. Um, it uses Accuracy International style magazine, so it's not a proprietary magazine. You can get these, they're readily available. Uh, you, this is a five shot. You can also get a 10 shot mag to go in there. It is made out of steel. The bottom metal on here is actual metal. It's not plastic like you see on a lot of rifles. And it's one piece. Your trigger guard mag well formed together. Just a nice, very comfortable. I love the angle on this pistol grip right here. It's very comfortable shooting off the bench or from prone or from sitting. It uh, makes it easy if you're sitting there a long time holding this rifle. Now, when I'm testing a rifle like this for accuracy, I want three things. One thing I want is a good scope so I can uh, get all the accuracy I can out of the rifle. I got this loophole Mark IV on here. It's eight and a half to 25 power. Got the side focus on it. Uh, it's real easy to use. It's a 30 millimeter tube. This is the scope I reach for when a rifle comes in and I got to test it for accuracy. I reach for this scope. <clears throat> Second thing I want is a solid rest. And I use the rest from Target Shooting Incorporated. Uh, they make some of the finest rest, well, the finest rest I've ever used. We got a model 500, model 1000. I use both. I like both. They work really well. The last thing I want is good ammunition. And when this rifle came in, when I grabbed it to go out the door with it, I grabbed three or four different brands. But the main one I reached for was Buffalo Bore 
their, their load it uses a 175 grain Sierra Max King bullet and that did prove to be the most accurate in this rifle uh, now let's get to the accuracy on it what you're buying when you pay this kind of money for a rifle you're buying a good reliable smooth working high quality rifle but you're buying accuracy and accuracy on this this thing will shoot into the same hole all day long in 100 yards it just uh i shot some uh, three shot groups there was just one hole one one ragged hole one clean hole three shots in 100 yards i've got a picture of a group that measured about three sixteenths uh, center to center and it is a good ragged hole five shot group and that wasn't the best group of the day but that's a representative group of what this rifle will do with ammo that you can buy off the shelf i didn't fine tune any hand loads for it didn't need to put the buffalo boy in there fed it through worked really well worked great with the black hills match uh federal gold medal match i didn't shoot any junk ammo through a rifle like this i shot the good stuff and it proves that uh, uh, the rifle shoots as good as it looks and it's available from colt it's a collaboration between colt and cooper firearms and they built a really great bolt action rifle that's a uh, uh, good for uh sniper work uh long range predator work uh, you carry, it's light enough you can carry it deer hunting they didn't make it overly cumbersome but it's easy to use works really well and it's available from Colt. I was talking to you about these uh, target shooting uh, rifle rests I use. This is the Model 500 right here. Really love this rest. You know, we've done a video on it before, so I won't cover much on it. But this is really a, a sturdy rest. It's, it's strong. It's, it's stable. And uh, with a rest like this, I can see how accurate a rifle is. You know, we was doing some traveling uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, uh, the rest we was using was fine because I carried it with me. But... Uh, the table we was on was not secure. So it was a wobbly little table. This, with this I can shoot and, and see what kind of accuracy I'm gonna get out of a rifle. Cause you know, when you folks tune in, you don't care how well I can shoot. You don't care if Jeff Quinn can shoot or not. You wanna see what the rifle will do. So with a rest like this on a steady base, I can see what the rifle will do without my influence on it. So I can set it here, it's very stable, and we can see how accurate it is. I'm gonna shoot a little bit. Got this Buffalo Bore ammo in here. It's gonna Bring it out a little. Maybe you can see how light the recoil is on, the, on this rifle. This thing just don't thump the shoulder at all. You know, the the rifle's not excessively heavy that he can go with a lot of weight to uh, to get the recoil out of it. But, it, you know, it's heavy enough with the heavy barrel and eliminating stock. But that muzzle brake is very effective. Just eliminates all the recoil out of this. Don't bump the shoulder at all. It uh, makes it a really enjoyable rifle to shoot off a bench or from prone or whatever. This is just a, it's a fine rifle from Colt.
We're rolling? Yep. We're out here today looking at this coal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, we're not looking at this coal. 